All right, so uh, you remember Glory, Glory, Hallelujah Woods, I think. <laughs> Glorilla. Um, Glorilla. Glorilla was on the shop, and uh, she said this. I can count on one hand the times I've, like, checked our, like, research team and been like, can this be right? You're wearing it on your chest, your middle name. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> and I'm like, is that really her middle name? And they're like, yeah, that's really her name. But it comes from your family. You come from a very religious family. Yeah. You want to love to listen any secular music, right? Um, okay, so not on the radio. Like, my mama, my mama older, so like, I got older parents. Like, my dad is 73, my mama's 60. So my parents always was in their 40s and 50s while I was growing up, so. I always, they always listened to Anita Baker, you know, them type, but we did watch, like, 106 Park. Like, I knew who people was, but once we got in the car, we not listening to no hip-hop station or nothing. They finna play straight 95.7 Hallelujah FM, like, only gospel music. But I did know the music, but I just didn't know too much about it, you know what I'm saying? Music. Um, when I first started music. rapping, the first song I ever did before I let my daddy hear it, I was talking crazy. My dad was like, what the f is you talking about? <laughs> <laughs> what the f Were you played it for? <laughs> uh-huh. My daddy was the lesser strict parent, like, you know what I'm saying? So I didn't feel ashamed to let him hear my music, but my mama, I was so scared. Like, I didn't tell her I was rapping or nothing. Like, I was like two years in and didn't tell her. Like, she had no idea I was rapping, but my daddy knew. But my sister had ended up, um, I was in my apartment cooking one day and my mama called me. She was like, so you do music? I was like, how you know? <laughs> and so she was like, uh, your sister told me. She said, I heard your music is good. I thought she was going like, to have a lot to say because if y'all hear my music, y'all know like I talk crazy. <laughs> I be talking crazy in my song. So I was like so embarrassed, but she was like, it's good. And so, yeah, that's how they came. Okay, so <laughs> how you say Mer music, Mer music, music. Mer music. Mer so Glorilla, if you haven't heard, she she has some wild stuff. Yeah, some wild stuff. So okay, grew up in let's say Christian quote I don't know Christian home where they wouldn't let her listen to secular music. It sounds a lot like my my mm -hmm. uh, growing up. They That's how it was for me too. Yeah. Me too. So mm -hmm. why then, when she started rapping, did her parents make such a hard switch to being okay with it? The money. Mm. <laughs> but this sounds like before even money, right? Like, this yeah. is just when she started. Yeah. It sounds, it, like sounds, it sounds like they were going to let her go down that lane where, I, I don't know. If you're smart enough, you know Ratchet's going to sell. You know Ratchet's going to sell. You know sex is going to sell. And that's that was her market. Let me ask y'all a question. You guys have, you guys are good fathers. You have kids. You have. I got, I got babies. Have, yeah. yeah. So if your kids come home and like. You shielding them from this music, you shield them, and then like twenty years later or fifteen years later, you hear them making music in their room, and they like throwing up the set, and <laughs> your, your girls oh, talking about dropping like it's like it's hot and oh, twerking and all this other stuff. Are you gonna be supportive of them, or are you gonna no. be like, get out my house? I mean, like, mm. I, I think because I think sometimes parents say that, but then you still love your kid and you still want them to like do well in life so it's like do you kill their dreams and say hey we don't do this in this house if you if you if you leave this house then you on your own jojo like or is it like <laughs> on something like that or is it like i gotta talk to your mama because you going crazy right now but i love you you know what i'm saying what do you do as a parent because i think her parents was like like and like you said i don't know how early this is. i don't know if this is like when she first hit when she um when she hit her first single or prior to that, because she had music prior to that. Right. So if she had music prior to that, and her parents heard it and was like, they she probably wasn't making that much money because she was saying uh, I saw something where she was saying I was working somewhere else and doing music. So do you do you be supportive as a parent? Like, I got three girls at home, and if they ever do anything like that, I failed <laughs> them. I failed as a parent. Oh, that's me right. failing, right? Yeah. And that's me not giving them. Um, the Bible and, and God like my kids my wife and we talked about this they will not grow up without the fire of the Lord they will not grow up doing their own thing they will not they, I, man I will move in with them if they start tripping in college oh, I'll Lord. move in with them like I'm sitting here right here got my laptop you're going to man I'm telling you man it's, it's so important for your children to um, have that right foundation but she come in daddy 
Huh? You know the house is flooded. I got this. I got this 10 stacks from the show. I want to help y'all out. Nah. <laughs> no. Mm-mm. He going to take it. that money. Trust me. No, he ain't no, got no, a good no, insurance no. plan. He taking that money. It's messing no, up your man. No. Daddy, it's messing up your man cave. <laughs> Listen. I got this stuff for you. For every minute you go, you let that go unchecked, that is more opportunity for their souls to be lost forever. Like you, you let that go unchecked and they get into a car accident. What's well, it? It's, it. it's I'm, over. I'm going to throw a monkey wrench in here real quick. Mm-hmm. So my mom is a minister. Okay. Always. My dad, now my dad, he, he you know, bless his heart. My dad will cuss you out quick, okay? My, mom, my parents was opposite, all right? It was opposites attract, okay? Um, but when I, I went to a holiness church, we was only wearing skirts. Like, we was oh, wow. in, I did not mm. know who Jodeci was. I didn't know who Aaliyah was. I was, like, straight, like, in Virtue. It. Yeah. The first time <laughs> that I heard secular music was with somebody's uh, PK kid. You understand? I was like, you don't know about, yeah, you don't know about this. I was like, what is this? You know, yeah, and they showed tape. me little Kim. So I was like, what this is right here? They was like, you can Ooh. have the tape. You feel me? Yeah, yeah, and I took the tape. That's exactly what happened. To That's me. when I started rapping. And I I started rapping at age seven. And the first track or whatever I was rapping to was Missy Elliott and Little Kim. Because back then, yeah. you know, you had Queen Latifah. And so, but at that point when I was in school. She was dying down. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And so I'm playing it back to back. But I'm at church. I'm front row and center. Hallelujah. Mm. Praise yeah, yeah, yeah. And so when I got probably high school age, I told my mom, like, I'm going to the studio. And she heard me and I would cuss like crazy. And I would go hard on it. And my mm. mom said, Danielle. Come on. She's like, why you don't do Christian rap? I said, and now, now mind you, we're talking about early 2000s. Yeah. I'm yeah, like, who? Yeah. who? I'm in Florida, right? Yeah. Who is you talking about Christian rap? Yeah. What is you? Yeah. <laughs> Jesus, I Jesus. No idea Hallelujah. What that <laughs> no, ma'am, lady. Like, I was like, this lady is crazy. And so, you know, my mom let me be me. You understand? Mm-hmm. Because the thing was, she was praying for me. What did they say? I got a praying grandmother. All of them was praying for me. All my great, great, great grandma, wow. all of them was alive. They prayed for me. I was at the studio. I was going to shows. I was at the radio station. I was hanging with the thugs, the boys who was smoking weed, who was drinking. Mm. I did all of that. God kept me. My mom never like was like, no. You, my mom told me what it was. She would share mm. the Bible with me and everything. But she let me rock out. And finally, I was like, I had enough. So it's 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 hard because I'm not saying I now I'm not on no Glorilla like the girls who rap now is different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, you you think about Little Kim and Foxy Brown was like the most provocative at the time. Yeah. You feel and me Trina. when I was growing yeah. up and, and, and Trina. Yeah. Trina really like pushed it. Yeah. But you got to think my mom too. My mom thought Kirk Franklin was like the devil. Yeah. When he came out with Stomp, it was like yo yo yo. It's a no. This man stomping and it's a no. doing the shirt. You remember he had a little shirt. Blood? Mom was like, we're done. <laughs> you understand? Know what I said? We're finished yeah. with all of this. That you know. So so you know my mom. <laughs> You gonna leave Uncle Kirk alone, man? That man, well, he got, ain't coming on the you show. You gotta get. Like, Thanks, Sean. Ne- I'm not even gonna go there. I, I reached but out yeah. not too long ago. <laughs> but nah, but I mean, I mean, you gotta give it to Kirk though, because he doesn't sing. What what do, what do people expect for yeah, Kirk to do on stage? Right. You gotta he be real something. about it. He gotta <laughs> yeah. do something. The whole chorus is the whole. Th- but anyways, <laughs> that's a tangent. The point is body rolling. <laughs> Stop. So in Jamaica, I'm just saying. But anyway, but yeah, my mom, my mom let me let me be me, you know, and yeah. God. Man, God like revealed itself to me. I was in college. I was at FAMU. I ended up having a kid out of wedlock. All of that. I had mm. to go through it. So mm. my faith in God is like strong, man. Yeah. But my mom had to pray for me, yeah. and she let me go through it. Now it's hard for Glow really because we're on a bigger stage. Don't nobody knew. Then nobody knew who I was and what I was doing. Yeah. But you know, I think you have to love your child through it, and you have to pray for them. And as much as you want to stop it, sin is sin. She may be rapping, but your son may be having sex with a chick up the street. What's the difference? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, I, I just because so, but, but, you can't be in control of all things. That's all I'm trying to say. Is there? Is there? Yes, yes. You there's things that you will not know about your kid. And, yeah, and mm. and there were things that because I was sheltered away from things, it makes it even more intriguing when you first yes. learn out about it. But <laughs> there's a difference between praying your kid through it and like being at the concert and true. You know, true, being true, up true. there when they get in the war, <laughs> yeah, or you know, <laughs> yeah, like yeah. that. You know, that's yeah. that's too much. She that's true. Yeah, that's yeah. true. Because my mom wouldn't show that. I know that for sure. That's my yeah. daughter. But <laughs> also, when you think about like with Glorilla and her lyrics and her imagery of her videos, and the parents see that, you got to be thinking, man, she is turning so many people astray. It's not just her anymore. Yeah, yeah. is this this is a but, world? But she's here's leading. the thing. I think another thing too. We we got to talk about about. Being religious, mm. I think being religious yeah. is something yeah. that, you know, it's it's something where your parents is like, love Jesus, but I love my kid too. 
True. And I and like she was saying, like we didn't listen to second music, but we did listen to Anita. <laughs> we did listen to you <laughs> right. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right. Yeah. So your parents may have those Saturday nights get togethers when they yeah. playing whatever yeah. and True. you know what I mean? So that's a good point because just because they were faithful to go to church and wouldn't listen to Correct. secular music mm-hmm. in the car doesn't mean they weren't doing exactly what Glorilla was doing yeah, in yeah. their yeah. own way. Yeah. You know what right. I mean? And, that, and you're like, there's a lot of people who just have like just a general fear of the Lord, but not necessarily a, a deep relationship mm-hmm. with God. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they, uh, they're traditionally faithful to the God, but they yeah. may not necessarily know how to tell their daughter yeah. from the beginning how important every piece and, of this and Ryan, walk is. Yeah. You can't talk Bad to your daughter if she dr- dropping it if you in there listening to Outcast. Mm, <laughs> what? Mm. <laughs> Full circle. What? I see. That's why you set this up. What? You set this up what just to call him out. <laughs> He's saying that you can't get on her for her musical choices when you when you still like Lil John, Outcast, okay. Goody right. Mob. Yeah. Yes, I can. <laughs> And, and let me tell you that and I don't say that about Outkast I'm saying like my daughter came to me the other day and she was like why are you drinking juice late at night and I said because I can do that and she was like well I want to drink juice late. I said turn 18 and you can do that right. you know grow but, but grow I think even, you- even more than that you were listening to Outkast Goody Mob before you were 18 right you were listening to it the whole time Yes, but it wasn't okay. I'm, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> but it wasn't glow. Ryan is like okay. I'm Literally. grown, so you're saying it it's not it's as levels bad. to it. That's what you're no, saying. I'm not saying that. I'm saying like okay, it's pretty bad. You though. used to like right. my neck, my back too. <laughs> okay, my dad, my dad would come to me and say, you know, he would hear different things, right? He would hear different things, and he would say, like I remember, I remember playing music one day. And he came in and he was like, what are you doing blasting that loud music? It's my house and this is a Sunday. You know, yeah. that was like, okay, I get it's it. It's the same situation. So then yeah. I put it on my headphones, right? You still listen to it. There you go. <laughs> yeah, but what I'll say this, man, I'll say... Mm, it, it, it feels mm. different, but it is the same journey. It's the journey. same, thing. It's the yeah. same journey. Yeah. There, were, there were things that, even though my parents was only listening to like, you know, Sandy Patty and you know, yeah. stuff like super, super gospel, not gospel, it was just Christian CCM, contemporary. Yeah. yeah. Nah. They were listening to nothing but that. <laughs> I still had like a boom box in my room and they knew I was listening to whatever was right. on in right, right, right. down in Pembroke Pines. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was a 97 point something. Yeah. And then, yeah. And then 99. so. 99, right? So I was, I was, they knew I would listen to stuff and I had little tapes I would make of recordings. Course, yeah. 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 So it's similar to her, where it's like, you still watching it on 106 in part. Yeah. You're still, yeah. You're still yeah. consuming the yeah. music. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I think, I think what was helpful, they knew I was going through that phase of it. But again, they prayed for me. They prayed for me. They prayed for me until there was a moment where I was like, I don't want to do this there anymore. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. every kid yeah. at some point has to come to a, this is what I want yeah. for my life. You have I want to serve him. God. Yeah. yeah, and that's the scary thing about a shelter, being extremely sheltered yeah. kids, because sometimes when you extremely shelter them, once they, because they're going to get in the world by themselves. Yes. They're going to yeah. find out about They're, they're going to find, find out. out. Let, me, yeah. let me preface it this way. Let me say it this way. Even though I listened to the Outcast and I listened to the Triple Six Mafia, I didn't Dang. do any of he those. Went, he, went, stuff? he went heavy on the oh, last. Man. Tear that club up. <laughs> <laughs> but here's the thing, though. Tear that club up. I'll say, I'll say, yes, God kept me, That's but those things, those things <laughs> never influenced me to do any of those things. Right. Like, I was able to separate the music. Ryan, you right. got kicked out of school. <laughs> man. Was Stop. I was fighting for Jesus. Okay? You were fighting for Jesus? I was fighting for Jesus, right? His, home, his homeboy, no. Jesus. No, 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 no. Somebody was saying something about my faith and my character, <laughs> and I was fighting to show Jesus. Okay. Right. Anyway, but anyway. But what I'm saying is, uh, <laughs> but what I'm saying is like, okay, those things, those things were in my ear, but they never influenced me to they do did. those they, things. They did. They you did, did something. I never Had tore to. the club up. Did, you know what I'm saying I used to listen we, to oh, the bug dance. Listen, listen, Ryan, Ryan, Ryan. Did he have? Did you? Did you? Did you have sex before marriage? No, I didn't. Oh, I didn't. did you do anything? What else, else can we call out? Come on, <laughs> come on. Um, what we got going on over here? Were you a dirty I, version? I know his story. <laughs> yeah, I, I but, but the thing was this. The thing was this. I know his story. I, I had enough. I had enough of the Holy Spirit in me to yeah. the point it kept where you. It, it kept me. Yeah. yeah, and I knew that those things were never going to have more power. Right, the but that, but that's the that's the training up from a child. That's where I th- the that's word where I'm is not going to come to be. You you put the word in your child; yeah. it's not yeah. going to go void. It's going to come back. And right, yeah. that's that's the but same. But that's story the same yeah. thing. And I, I think here's the thing about just us as Christians: like we're all going to have a journey, and whether we, because yeah. here's the thing: she Glorilla. Okay, she's talking about sexual things, but a sin is a sin. Yeah, and so I think that's where we have to make sure we are having real conversations with our kids, not just the staple. 
sinning, yeah. right? Because if you gossiping, you sinning. Yep. You know what I'm saying? If you're hating, mm-hmm. you're sinning. You know, mm-hmm. so I think we it, it's its a hard place to be in. It is a hard place it, to be in. It's a very hard conversation yeah. to have. But I think as Christians, we have to make sure that we show grace yeah, that's and right. that we, we love on our children. We pray for our children. Mm-hmm. And if they do go astray, listen, Ooh, be honest. You give them that word. That's the and I think that goes back yeah. to your point though. To not just be like, oh, we at NTV Awards. It's like, yeah. look, I'm glad you got your award. Yeah. But let me bring you back to the word of God. Yeah. yeah. And that's where your stronghold yeah. as a parent will stay. Exactly. Like, like I remember, um, and this is before he passed away, Nate Dog mm. said something in the interview. He's like, My father was like, I'm proud of you, son, but remember Tom's drawing nine. Because mm. he was a you pastor. Yeah, yeah, you run yeah. out of time. Don't don't forget to come home. Like yeah. And he ain't talking about like yeah. come home. He's talking about like <laughs> Jesus, come back to yeah. Jesus. Right. Yeah. Like uh. so so it wasn't like I hate you for doing this. It's like I love you and your talent is doing well for yeah. you, but don't but my, you my, my opinion hasn't changed. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. You Facts. still got you still gotta get back in the work. Yeah. So I, I say this I get what you're saying. You, you, hard for me. You, yeah. This is hard for me. You you can't necessarily force your kid to do it. But here's here's a conversation we had recently, me and my wife, is trying your best to protect their innocence as long as possible because yes. once the innocence yes. is broken yes. then it's like the they're going obs- <laughs> to they're going to obsess about it, really it for is. the rest of it yes. right yes, and, yes. and especially as a teenager with all like you just Man. like buckets of hormones j- dumped on you and then you start seeing images i don't know what we're going to do with social media but like yeah. just like yeah. how like it's so much pressure in your teens was, and early yeah. 20s and with, yeah. from the inside and yeah, outside yeah. Yeah. that at some point that kid has to decide this yeah. is not I'm not doing this because daddy Ryan told me to do it. I'm yeah. doing this because I there believe in go. Jesus yeah. and yes. I don't want to for myself. Yes. So, so all that to say is pray for Glorilla. Hopefully enough um, work was done early in her life that right. she won't be able to ignore it right. something yeah. will be bugging right. her like right. I gotta yeah. got fix this I, gotta right. do I, pray, I pray that she see the examples of people out there I think my thing is and we talked about this with Nikki is that sometimes people just need to see an example of that there and say go. I can do this that this is how you do it the right there way there you yeah. go and you gotta show love yeah. to like a lot of CH and I just said this early on the show that I was on you know we have Christian hip hop artists and I even said when I was on my show mm-hmm. this morning the reality is you need to show your, your daughter this I have all girls yeah. so mm-hmm. They know who Linnell Grant is. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they know who Wande yeah, is. Yeah, you know, nice. they know who AI the Anomaly is. And it's important because those Christian female, you know, artists yeah. are going to set the standard for them to yeah. understand. It don't take all of that to, to be heard possible. and be talented. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And unfortunately, when I grew up, we didn't have the, the, that. Didn't know it you even know what I'm saying? Didn't even yeah, know yeah, it was a possibility. Sure. A possibility. Yeah. Yeah. It, it really wasn't. And for so sure. the beauty is for us raising our kids yeah. is that let me show you. Who, yeah. who who got got that rap yeah. game? You got two cool Tiff. You got so many yeah. Yeah. that they can really like look after, and they all got a story. So yeah. So I'll, shout out shout out to uh, Nia. She just sent in a super chat. Said I love you guys podcast. Please keep on doing what you guys do. Love the Christian view on the music industry. Appreciate that. I'm gonna throw this Thank last you. caveat out there, right? Last one. So when we were in school and they asked you to write about who is your biggest hero, mm. was either one of you all mentioned mom or dad? You did right. I don't even remember. I don't think we had that. I know. Listen, I don't even want to respond because I know what I wrote. So I wrote, I wrote my dad was my biggest hero, right? If my dad one day co-signs my sin, it's going to be harder for me to come out of it. Right, you're right. It's going to be harder for me to come out of it. Do not co-sign anything. But it's it's just, how how do you, is, is, um, is the Iron Fist also wrong is what we're yeah. trying to figure out. Like, right. how, what's the balance? I'm just saying if Glorilla shows up with a Bentley for her parents and they know, and she says to them, the W, was it um, FN, FNF video? Yeah. The FNF video paid for this. Paid for this I was are like, oh, you, then send it back. Are you good? No, yeah, right. Send it back. Yeah. Mm. Because you can't, you, can't, you can't make exceptions because mm. then, then you're basically exactly. your co-signer. You're, yeah. 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 But then also I would say this for, for, for anybody out there, and this, and this is my music side speaking as a DJ, show your kids the lyrics. Show yes. them why you stand against what they're... Show them their own lyrics? No, I'm saying show them the lyrics of who's influencing them. show them. No, I'm no, saying like if, if, if a kid come in your house, if, if your daughter come in, your, in the house and she's listening to somebody, listening yeah, to you go, listen, let's look at the lyrics and see why we, the standard in this house is not this standard. Yeah. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's the DJ in me saying that like, that, that makes hey, sense. this song is about this and this is what the word of God I, and this is what we live by. I do think up until 18... You probably got to be more Iron Fist than, than pray for you. Yeah, 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 After yeah. 18, you might yeah. have to start being pray for you. <laughs> no, you have to because yeah. it's, it's too to much. It, they got TikTok. It they got yeah. everything. So yeah. it's different now. Yeah. Uh, we, Facebook came out when I was in, in college. Me so, too. you know, Me come too. on. 